Hello, Colors. Welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing the latest developing stories as usual. We start with this report claiming that Manchester United manager Eric Den Haag still continues speaking with Barca superstar Frankie de Jong to convince him to move last summer. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about captain Sergio Busquets. As it has been reported that the Barca midfielder is prioritizing a stay as it stands. Uh, Barca are set to offer a one-year deal with reduced wages. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barca! Barca! It is no secret that Manchester United made a, con a concerted effort to try and sign Barcelona midfield Frankie de Jong in the summer transfer window last year. The Red Devils were embarking on a new journey under their new boss Eric Ten Hag and the Dutchman, who had worked with the Young at Ajax, wanted a reunion with his former prodigy at Old Trafford. Marker has now come out with a fresh report revealing the extent to which Manchester United tried to sign the young from Barcelona last summer. The Blaugrana for their part were open to parting ways with a 25-year-old midfielder as they saw him as a way to boost the, the club's income and free up space on their bloated wage bill. An agreement between the two teams was understood to be in place as well. However, the young dug his heels in and refused to leave the club, even though he had been played as a centre-back in pre-season as a possible pressure tactic while he also lost his place in the starting eleven early in the campaign. But the Netherlands international did not budge from his stance, so Ten Hag took matters into his own hands and spoke directly with his compatriot to try and convince him to move to Manchester United. However, there was no change in the young's mind as he stood his ground. Months later, the young is now a permanent fixture in the middle of the park for Barcelona, showing exactly why the club shelled out 86 million euros for him back in 2019. The young has thrived on that Xavi this season, especially in recent weeks when the manager has tweaked his tactics and deployed four center midfielders with Gavi operating as a pseudo winger. The Dutchman has also shown that he can be a trustworthy option in the pivot position when Sergio Busquets has been absent. Indeed, the York stepped into the role this past weekend against Sevilla after his captain was taken off injured just five minutes in and performed admirably. And as per the report from Marca, Frankie de Jong will be taking ownership of that position for the upcoming matches until Busquets returns from injury. Seen as an untouchable in the in the team right now, De Jong will meet Ten Hag imminently when Barcelona and Manchester United clash in the UEFA Champion UEFA Europa League next season. Sorry, next week. But any possibility of a transfer to Old Trafford now does not seem to exist at this point. Indeed, no possibility at this point. Um, Frankie De Jong is showing why we paid that much for him some four years back. I think Frankie De Jong, one of the best players now in the team performing so well in all the games and I think Xavi and Laporta must be like oh my god what were we trying to do we're trying to sell him come on many fans were disappointed honestly I was really mad when the when last summer we saw Barca pushing and pushing for Frankie de Jong to go to United even though we heard a Barca president coming out and always say look we did not do anything Frankie de Jong will stay nobody have been linked with United and so on and so forth but it was very clear it was very clear Barca were trying to balance the books and, of course, seeing Frankie de Jong as one of the most valuable players, one of the players that they can earn something significant from his sale. But, pff, come on, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be very bad. But, luckily enough, Frankie de Jong stood his ground, insisted that he would not leave. The, and one thing really baffled me, like, I was scared when they started talking about Eric Ten Hag even trying to call his compatriot, a guy who he trained in, in the days of Ajax, but still yet... He couldn't still convince Frankie de Jong, which shows how Frankie de Jong is dedicated to succeed at his club, to win trophies. He loves Barcelona, and that's just the truth. He loves Barca. If Frankie de Jong was going all out for the money, then he could have gone to United because United could have paid more, far more than what Barca pays. And he still chose to stay, which means he really loved this club, and it was really great. What a great decision, and we can see what, are, what is happening now. 
Frankie de Jong is playing so well, um, doing so well in midfield. And even though, you know, Sergio Busquets is injured, I don't think we're not, we're not even going to miss Sergio Busquets that much because Frankie de Jong does it even more better, to be honest. And I think it's a perfect opportunity for him to, to always show Xavi what he's got, especially at the moment in time when our captain Busquets is not around. So um, kudos to him. Um, he, he's going to meet his compatriot Eric Ten Hag next Thursday in the Europa League at the Camp Nou, of course. I don't know if Ten Hag will come to his ear and say, look, please come to United end of season, which will never happen, by the way. Then on to the next story of discussion. There has been a lot of chatter surrounding the future of Barca captain Sergio Busquets as his contract with the club expires at the end of this season. The 34-year-old has been a top player for Barcelona for almost 15 years now. But given his contract situation, there is a lot of uncertainty around his next move. But according to sports, Busquets is now prioritizing a stay at Barcelona, even though he has considered the possibility of moving to the MLS in the past. Indeed, report has suggested that the midfielder has, was assessing the prospect of leaving the club in the January window itself amid strong interest from Inter Miami. But it did not materialize as Xavi Hernandez and co seemingly convinced the club legend to stay put, given its importance within the team. Over the past few matches, Busquets has been displaying his best form, especially when playing alongside Frankie de Jong and Pedri. The report states that the 34-year-old believes he can continue to perform at this level for one more season. So why he will receive important proposals like the 18 million euro um, per season? offer from Al Nash, but Busquets will prioritize staying at Barcelona. The club, for their part, are planning to offer Busquets a one-year contract with a significant salary reduction, which is understandable given their issues with the financial fair play problems. Manager Xavi Hernandez is pushing the club to renew his captain as he is aware that signing a replacement for him in the summer in the current financial situation will be extremely difficult. So the La Liga leaders are expected to take a move to offer him a new contract soon. Busquets for his part believe that there is no better place for him than Barcelona, but his agent continued to listen to proposals from the MLS and Saudi Arabia while waiting for an offer from the Catalans. Both parties want a resolution at the earliest and it remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming weeks. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye.